Hi, it's yesterday once more. Good songs, great stories. Petula Sally Olwyn Clark, born in November 1932, is a British singer, actress, and songwriter. Petula Clark has had one of the longest careers of any British singer, spending some eight decades. Whew. Clark's professional career began quite by chance during the Second World War as a child entertainer on BBC Radio. In October 1942, the nine-year-old Clark made her radio debut while attending a BBC broadcast with her father. She was trying to send a message to an uncle who was posted to fight overseas. But the broadcast was delayed by an air raid. During the bombing, the producer requested that someone perform to calm the jittery theatre audience. Petula volunteered, and they liked her voice so much. In the control room, they recorded her. She then repeated her performance for the broadcast audience, launching a series of some 500 appearances in programs designed to entertain the troops. In addition to radio work, Clark frequently toured the United Kingdom with fellow child performer Julie Andrews. She also became known as Britain's Shirley Temple and was considered a mascot by the British Army. While she was performing at the Royal Albert Hall in London in 1944, Clark was discovered by the film director Maurice Elvey, who cast her at the age of 12 as a pre precocious orphan in his war drama Medal for the General. In quick succession, she performed in a series of other films. Clark then made her television debut on her own BBC television series in November 1946, and she would be a regular performer on the BBC from then. Clark cut her first recording in 1949, but it was not until 1954 that she had her first official top 10 chart success with The Little Shoemaker. In 1957, she was invited to sing at the famed Olympia Theatre in France. After one song, the French crowd went wild and an entirely new career was launched. She began recording in French and soon hits in German, Italian, Spanish followed. Urged by her friends in Britain to record something in English, Clark allowed British composer Tony Hatch to visit her in Paris, where he presented his new song, Downtown. She recorded it in 1964. Although it was kept off the top spot by the Beatles in the UK, it reached number one in the USA in early 1965 without her promoting it at all. It earned her a Grammy for Best Rock and Roll Recording, beating the Beatles. Oh, such sweet revenge. Clark became the first female, British female, to sell a million copies in the USA. The first female Brit to win two Grammys and to top the American charts twice. During the 70s to 90s, she continued to sing, perform, and also appeared in print and radio ads. She returned to the stage in 1981, playing Maria von Trapp in The Sound of Music in the West End of London and then went on to star in Broadway in the US. Indeed, Clark has had a long career on radio, in film, in print, on television, and on recordings. In 1998, in honour of her legendary career, she was made Commander of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire, CBE in short, by the then Queen of England. Clark has sold well over 75 million records and still counting. She celebrated her 90th birthday last November, during which she was still performing, yes, still performing, on the West End stage as the Bird Woman in Mary Poppins. You know what? We simply can't talk about Petula Clark without listening to the classic downtown. Come sing along with me, even if the only word you know is downtown. 
I'll see you next week. When you're alone and life is making you lonely, you can always go downtown. When you've got worries, all the noise and the hurry seems to help, I know. Downtown, just listen to the music. Problems surround you. There are movie shows downtown. Maybe you know some little places to go to where they never close downtown. Just listen to the rhythm of a gentle waltz and mover. You'll be dancing with them too before the night is over. Happy again. The lights so much brighter. Yeah.